Good evening, I'm Randall Newsom. Overnight, IMPD responded to two more homicides in our city, bringing the total to 221 for the year. According to the department, 143 of those cases remain unsolved. That's nearly 65 percent. As News 8's Stephanie Esquivel shows us tonight, a group gathered to pray for the families of all those victims. They say something needs to be done to stop these alarming rates. Those who have lost loved ones, but yet the cases are still unsolved. Mm. Today's vigil was held in memory of Gregory Wilson Jr. Six years ago today, uh, he was murdered in broad daylight here on this street. Wilson Jr.'s case is just one of the many that have never been solved. His father, Gregory Wilson Sr., holds this vigil every year on the anniversary of his son's death. There's so many families that have lost loved ones, whether it's father, mother, sister, uncle, brothers, you name it, and that's why I'm here today. It's for not just my son, but to make sure people don't, people understand there's lots of victims of violence. Wilson Sr. says the fact that his son's killer could still be a danger to others does not let him sleep at night. People right. being killed, all I care about is one thing, is saving lives. How do we save lives as a community? IMPD says the department has a dedicated group of detectives that only focuses on cold cases. Wilson Sr. says he has never heard from them. It, it seems like it's been cold from day one uh, because I haven't gotten the communication. I've tried, but I haven't. Neighbors in the community say police alone cannot be blamed for the unsolved murders. We can't. We can't get time with the mayor. They're not interested. The council isn't interested. So our elected officials aren't interested. We've seen homicides spike each and every year. You know, the last six years have been the most violent in Indianapolis history. That's a cause for, for concern for any resident. One thing IMPD and families of the victims can all agree on, anyone with information needs to come forward, and they can even do it anonymously. As well as the community that knows about some of this violence, who's committing these violent acts, to turn these people in. Wilson Sr. says even though finding his son's killer will not bring him back, knowing they're not on the streets will bring him some closure. Stephanie Escobel, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook.